Welcome back to the second episode of Skeff's Comic Knowledge, where I try to give you some of my common knowledge on comics. This is a bit of a recap of the first episode. I don't want to make that one too long. But I had a lot of questions regarding the two books that I actually had graded once before. And I ended up cracking the books, submitting them for pressing, and I'm getting them regraded again. Uh, if you've forgotten the two books in mention, we're going to be the Spider-Gwen Ghost Spider 1 in 100 ratio variant. And the other book that we had was the Uncanny X-Men number 4 Mark Brooks cover. And we'll go over why I did that and maybe kind of the cost if you're curious about the cost and the reading behind that. So this book, for example, I actually picked up off of the rack the day it came out for 70 bucks. And it was a really good hot book at the time, and I just loved the cover. Mark Brooks, amazing artist. So I decided to just kind of hold on to it, and I, then I took it to C2E2. They offered on-site grading service. So I paid 70 for it. The on-site grading service cost me 30 Therefore, I had 100 in the book. Now, at that time, I didn't know anybody who pressed or cleaned books. So I took the chance with my naked eye. It looked like it was going to be a really nice copy, at least at the time I thought it was. I... Did not get the 9.8 I was hoping for. Um, I pulled the 9.6. So at the time, the book for a 9.6 could have sold about 150 to 200. So at that time, I decided that it was worth the, the gamble, in essence, to crack it, uh, resubmit it after getting it pressed to try to get the 9.8. And so when I did that, I sent it away along with the Spider and Ghost Spider to Gary. He cracked it, pressed it, uh, cleaned it and came back the, the 9-8 I was after. So at the end of the day, I have about $130 into the book itself, and the value of it right now is anywhere between 400 to, to 440 depending on you know the day in the market. But at the time, I feel that it was a good investment of the extra 30 to try to get the 9-8 because it would really increase the value of the book drastically. So that's, that's kind of the reason why I did that for the Uncanny X-Men. And now, for the Spider-Gwen Ghost Spider, I end up picking this up the day it came out off the rack. There's also a 1 to 100 ratio, and I paid 170 for it the day it came off the rack. And at that time, I was also a couple months before C22, so I took it with me, along with the Uncanny X-Men. There, Naked Eye came back in 9.6. I was like, oh man. So I held on to it at the time. If it was a 9.6, I probably could sold it for about four to 500 But I took the chance, held on to it, um, and I sent it away. Got it pressed, got it cleaned, and I finally got the 9.8 I was after. So at the end of the day, I spent 170 on the book. Uh, the grading on-site at C2E2 cost me 30 so there's 200 in the book. Then I cracked it, resubmitted it, and got it graded again after the pressed and cleaned. And that cost me about another 30 into the book. So I had about 230 into the book, and it came back to the 9.8. So that's why I was at now it's probably around that $900, $950 range of value. And I felt the risk was worth it because if it would have came back at 9.6 again, it still would have been probably about that four to 500. So I still would have had a, a nice solid return at the end of the day. So that's why I always feel that getting your, uh, your books uh, pressed and clean is really important. And I have uh, one, more, one more example. I'm going to show you a bit of a surprise. is a, a Golden Age book, actually. This is a uh, the EC Horror Comics uh, Vault of Horror, issue number 14. So you can see that it came out in 1950. But this is just a uh, super old book that I um, I end up purchasing. This it was already graded when I bought it. It was graded at a 6.5, and at that time I believe I paid about. 300 for it in a 6.5 and it's just a scarce book there's I think maybe about 30 to 40 about 30 of them graded total like that's it of this book and so I looked at the book and I felt that I've gotten better and I thought that it could maybe increase uh, in value after getting it uh, cracked uh, pressed and cleaned so that's what I did um, this is one I, I about uh, six months ago I did that too and so I had this one uh, sent away Got it pressed, got it cleaned, and it actually had it had a two point jump, which is insane. But um, that's what happens if you have a good presser and a good cleaner. They can really kind of help increase the value on these books. And so at the time, I paid about three hundred for it, and this is actually the only eight point five uh, on the census. 
<laughs> it's kind of fun to have the only 8.5. There's grand now. There is a nine, a nine two, a nine four, and I think one nine, one nine six. Uh, but there's about four or five that are a little higher graded than mine. But I'm the only 8.5 on the census. So I think we have no idea. But the guy that did it for me ballparked it. He's like, mm, could be worth anywhere between 900 to uh, 1,000. So at the end of the day, I paid 300. Um, I cracked it myself. Uh, I cracked most of my books myself. And I, if you wanted to, uh, leave a comment below on if you have any more questions or if you want to see a video on me like cracking or any more grading or any questions of like that at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to uh, give you my thoughts and my ideas and why I get books cracked and pressed and cleaned. And for me, I just feel the value is there. So that's kind of just a short video uh, for me for today. But if you'd be so kind, uh, just please hit like, subscribe at the bottom there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'll have a lot more videos coming out soon. But like I said, leave a comment below if you have any questions, if you want to see any other types of videos um, or my thoughts on anything at all. Um, I'd appreciate it.